Hello everyone, welcome back to Sawdust and Circuits. Today we're diving into a project that's been years in the making, at least in my heart. When I was a teenager, the Sunfire Mark II subwoofer was the dream. Bob Carver's marvel of engineering, a compact powerhouse that could shake walls like no other. But back then, owning one was more of a fantasy than a possibility. Fast forward to now, I stumbled upon this at a thrift store. Broken, but calling my name. So let's bring this beast back to life. First, let's rewind to the late 90s when Bob Carver introduced the Sunfire Mark II. It was a revolutionary subwoofer that could fit in a cabinet barely over a foot tall, but packed a 2700 watt amplifier. It used Bob Carver's patented high back EMF transformer technology, allowing it to deliver deep bass without the massive enclosures typical of the time. But back then it retailed for $1,500, a fortune for a teenage me dreaming of a killer sound system. Well, fast forward to last weekend, when I spotted this beauty in the corner of a thrift store. And it was broken, but for 20 bucks, my teenage self practically screamed, we're buying it. Sure, it didn't function, but that's a minor detail, right? Right. So the first step was getting inside to see what we're dealing with. And as I suspected, the capacitors on the power board looked like they'd been to war, swollen and leaking, a classic sign of age-related failure. But here's the thing, a few capacitors, that's a fix we can tackle. So let's get to work. Replacing capacitors isn't rocket science but it does require some patience and a steady hand. And if they are high voltage capacitors, you should always drain the power off of them before handling them to avoid any surprises. We're not trying to get shocked here, folks. So I grabbed my soldering iron and I ordered some fresh caps and let's get to work. Out with the old, in with the new. As I soldered these in, I just couldn't help think teenage me would be so proud right now. All right, with the new capacitors installed, let's reassemble this thing and let's have the moment of truth. Will it power on or will I be left with a $20 paperweight? I had to grab my daughter's phone since my phone does not have a headphone jack on it anymore. And let's load up a bass track and 
get this monster kicking. Wow, this thing is pretty incredible. You can see these excursion rings on this thing just going crazy. This thing is a pretty impressive speaker. The wild thing is just the one 10 inch woofer in this thing weighs 42 pounds. Well, for me, this was more than just a repair project. It was the realization of a teenage dream. A little elbow grease and some patience brought this legendary sub back to life. And now it's going to be part of my setup. So what's your dream piece of audio gear? Let me know in the comments. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Join me for the next project. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.